All right, so let's fix some poster for power station. I got a little runny nose. So it's runny nose, yeah. So not the doing the greatest right now. So please bear with me as I uh, start reviewing Chicago Station movies. Yeah. There's four films. Starting with this first film. So let me give you an idea what the first movie's all about. Okay. So as far I can tell. Alex Barney is played by Devin Selva. He's supposed to be on a going on a trip to Paris, but when there's a pandemic he experiences, he sees the plane explodes moments after he leaves the ground. And he's very convinced that everyone is to get up this plane. Some people, including himself, were forced to disembark. All watch the plane as it explodes to a fireball. And he and the, and the survivors have brief cheat death briefly, but their fates are going to catch up to them, however. One of these teachers fell victim to the Queen Keeper. <laughs> so, now that I have found the red, the if you uh, so you think, think you have an idea what movies all about. The Final Destination movies are supposed to be horror, horror films, but <laughs> okay, okay, I, I gotta stop that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my nose is uh, stuffy, so I'm not feeling really the greatest right now. As I'm Anyways, I'm not going to go into much details about what the heck I've seen, but I'm also watching uh, Have Fun. Downfall, which is a um, Jumer film. I got my headphones on in series, so uh, the audio doesn't interfere with this video, so as I review Final Destination, the first one. Now, uh, this is actually the first Final Destination movie that I haven't reviewed the Final Destination movies, but I've been watching them quite a few times. But... Oh my freaking god. I did not expect this noise to be made. Okay, so that was freaking weird. Sorry for the <coughs> awkwardness. I am not going to go much details about the deaths per se, but I'm not going to be, I'm going to just keep this for as short as I possibly can. Give my thoughts, but it's just, um... Actually, yeah, the deaths are actually quite, some of the deaths were actually hilarious to look at. I mean, drop dead. Because that one girl was trying to convince this guy, and then she gets killed by the bus. <coughs> and there was this one death where 
uh, this one girl was trying to do gymnasium. And this one girl stepped on a nail. That's gotta be a painful way. <laughs> and then Swag appears, killing this young lady that was some other young lady that wasn't there and grip the shit. <laughs> and there was this one death where this guy had his head crushed by a statue. Little statue. Buddha statue? Whatever the statue was. Okay, okay, okay. I don't care. I mean, I don't. And there was this one guy who was on, who hangs on a bed on his hook, but the hook kills him instantly. And there was this um, one death that the lady was um, trying to let that painful laser hurt her eye and getting her hand too. But she expends the death. I mean, she, she uh, comes out of the window. I mean, these deaths. <laughs> yeah, the Final Destination movies are supposed to be horror films, including the first one, but there are. Uh, I. It's. The Final Destination movies are not comedies per se, because they're horror films, but they do tend to have their fair share of comedic moments when it comes to the freaking deaths. You know, the Green Reaper is out to get everybody. I mean,. Wherever you try to, whatever your fate is, everyone's fate when the deaths appear is just something you need to be aware of when it comes to moves like these. I mean, when it comes to when you are thinking of death. But the deaths were. And there was this one <clears throat> death when they were on a plane. This lady, this young lady, got killed, cut in half by one of the wings. And then there was this another death on that thing on the thing involves the uh, people getting caught on fire. <laughs> Burnt death. <clears throat> Jeez, there's no short there's no shortage of movie deaths. I mean hilarious deaths. I mean, let's be honest, there are gonna be movies where they take death lightly. I mean when they do that, I mean when there's a when a death happens in the in a hilarious, hilarious way, if you basically it's just something tells you, will tell you that they're not that <coughs> they're making uh, they're not they're what movie scenes where it involves a death are not being taken seriously when it comes to deaths happening in funny ways, <laughs> funny, funny results. But then I just want to say uh, I kind of like this movie. She's basically just having a fun time looking at Final Destination. And, uh, I mean, Final Destination, this is, it's been out for 24 years now, yeah, by this point, and... We're gonna say, I got reviewed the other reviews. I mean, don't get me wrong, that drop death one was funny. The, yeah, those deaths were funny. I mean, experiencing death, watching movie deaths in hell, in funny ways. Yes, sometimes you're gonna experience movie deaths that happen in hilarious ways. Because some movies can prove that it's they're not taking deaths serious. Seriously, it's all movie deaths are taken seriously. But sometimes you just got to just got to be advised. There are some deaths to be that movies are don't take serious, like the Final Destination movies. Funny thing about these movies, but it's the deaths. I gotta be honest here. I will give Final Destination a uh, what is there to say? Four out of five. I mean. The Final Destination movies are going to be very scores. I mean, the deaths are freaking hilarious. I mean, I kind of liked it. I mean, I did like it. Are they very memorable characters? I mean, you just can't escape the, your fate when it comes to death. I mean, 
You can't cheat death. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna experience a movie death, and then the movies are, just, are not taken as serious as most movies intend to do. I mean, their movies are deaths are hilarious, sad, brutal. But anyways, that's you get the point. There are various ways that death can happen when it comes to movies. And probably just anyways, um I'm sorry if I'm not saying this much, but I'm I don't I don't feel one hundred percent right now because I'm feeling I'm not feeling that great right now. I'm feeling under the weather like I have already dosed and I'm sorry if I'm already dosed. Sorry if I'm not speaking normally, like normal, but, but hopefully I'll sound, I'll feel better. But I just wanted to do this movie review for Final Destination, and yes, I have not been doing a lot of movie reviews lately this year. But hopefully, I'll continue to make more movie reviews as the year continues, as well as the decade, and probably do new reviews for movies I've done before. Uh, on my other channel that I use for gaming videos, but once I review them again, the new reviews, the newer reviews, will be posted to this channel, and then they will be actually the moves will be sorted by when I originally <coughs> did review them before. But yeah, file decision. That was it. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm not sounding right, right but I sound like sh shit right now. Please excuse the language, but I'm sorry. But you know me, I'm not feeling the greatest as I said before. But, <laughs> but there's some, yeah, I really like the deaths of the station. So, um,. I'm going to end the video here. Stay tuned for the reviews for the other Final Destination movies. The next one will be the second movie. And, um, hopefully I'll get back to reviewing the James Bond movies as well, because hopefully I'll get to review every single one. Goldfinger's next, because I already reviewed Dr. Noah commercial love. I gotta review the rest of the Shark Car with James Bond movies and I also still gotta get to Iron Man She's Secret Service, but that's it for my review for Final Destination. I'm sorry if I didn't say a lot as being honest with, I mean, my thoughts on anything else regarding the movie and just focusing on the deaths, but stay tuned for more reviews.